It was one of the most horrific days in Toronto's history. April 23rd, 2018. Alec Manassian drove a rented van down a Young Street sidewalk, killing 10 and injuring 16 others. On Tuesday, the judge-only trial will begin, and it will focus on Manassian's mental state as he went on a rampage. Come on, get down. Kill me. No, get down. Get the down. attack has left a scar on our city that may never fully heal. 25 minutes of horror resulted in 26 families having their lives changed forever and ended with Manassian in police custody. In March, Manassian admitted in court to planning and carrying out the attack. Justice Amaloy says the judge-only trial will focus on Manassian's state of mind. There's no question around whether he did it or not. Defense attorney Kim Schofield says Manassian's legal team will have to try and prove that on that tragic afternoon, his mind wasn't able to comprehend the consequences of his actions. Her uh, honor has to decide, is there an operating mind? Was there the intent or the mens rea to commit the offenses? Or was he suffering uh, from some form of mental illness or mental uh, disability? This is what Manassian had to say about his physical and mental health while being booked by police on the day of the tragic attack. Do you have any special physical or mental conditions that we should be made aware of? No. Are you suffering from any recent injuries? No. Are you suffering from any illnesses? Yes, I'm a murdering piece of The pending case around Manassian's mental health has left the families of some victims, like Anne-Marie D'Amico's, feeling uneasy. We can't bring back my sister. We can't turn back the time and erase the events that happened. So right now it comes down to you can call it justice or you can call it protecting the rest of society from protecting those around us and those people in toronto moving forward a little uneasy about it all and a lot of the emotions are going to resurface it's really unpopular with everyone there's no winners here but if there's a ncr or not criminally responsible finding it doesn't mean he walks away it means a psychiatric hospitalization and potentially um incarceration in a psychiatric facility because of covid restrictions the trial is going to be held virtually on zoom the judge manassian lawyers and witnesses will all be in different places Victims, families, the media will also be attending on Zoom or at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre where the public is also welcome to watch. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.